Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dominique and I'm going to tell you right now, freaking subscribe to my channel. <laughs> so, here I am at work, which is primarily a gift shop, also a head shop, but today we are talking about the sex shop. So if you are 18 and above, welcome. If you are under 18, well, I can't make you not watch this, so... Not my fault. <laughs> I've always wanted to make this video, but I didn't know when the right time would be. But now that I've hit four years of working here, I definitely have enough experience to talk about the intimate side of the store, which is very interesting to work at. Very interesting. And a lot of people ask me questions daily about how it is working in an environment like that. And so now I'm gonna answer those questions and maybe give you some stories. I had posted on multiple social medias to ask me questions about what it's like to work at a sex store. And you guys gave me some good ones. So let's get started, shall we? Also, sorry if this camera gets repositioned a million times. I'm actually working. <laughs> Okay, first question. <laughs> What's the strangest thing you've been asked? People ask me this one the most, and to me, none of the questions are strange because the whole side of the store is uncomfortable for most people. And so every single question that I get asked has to do with the subject, which at the end of the day is strange. But none of the questions that I get are really actually strange because the whole subject is kind of its own. So it kind of comes with the territory getting questions that most people would be uncomfortable asking or answering. I mean, a lot of people who shop here are uncomfortable themselves. So it's my job to make them as comfortable as possible because one, we won't get business if we're weird. <laughs> Two people are just really looking for an expert's help because they want this kind of thing and I am definitely no expert. I actually don't buy anything from this side of the store, believe it or not. I don't really care if people are, think I'm hiding it or not. I really genuinely don't buy anything from this side because I'm a terrible liar and very honest when I sell things so I'd rather just not have an opinion on any of the toys. Do you ever judge anyone? No. People think that I'm lying when I say that I don't judge people when they come up and buy something, depending on the people. But there's nothing for me to judge. I cater to all types of people and I'm already a very open person as it is. So me judging people based on what they buy up here would just, I wouldn't be able to work here if that was the case. If you're a judgy person and you work in this kind of environment, quit because that's fucked up. <laughs> What's the weirdest order request you've gotten? I... People ask me for everything between men's toys and girls' toys or stuff for themselves. I'm trying to explain these things without using dirty words because I hate, I hate it. <laughs> to me, there's nothing weird about it. So when people ask me for products, I say yes or no, or I can get it or I can't, or I can look. It, pe people really just think that people are coming up here already like naked and are like, hey, what can I put inside me? Like, it's not like that. It's just normal people going, hey, do you have this? <laughs> What are the top three items that we sell? Um, lube, handcuffs, and probably just regular vibrators. It's really not that crazy. People think this is some crazy, crazy job that I have, but it's really not. When once you see past all of the sex stuff, it all just becomes items to you. We sell everything, so everything is kind of popular. Everything we bring in, somebody buys. How do you know what to order? I don't. <laughs> because again, I don't use any of this stuff, so I have zero experience really with the toys in general. I base it off of online reviews and customer reviews and just what I think would sell. Do people try to return used sex toys? And in my experience so far, um, people usually call or they come in and ask. They're like, hey, I just bought this X amount of time ago. I haven't used it because it's never worked. And Usually my boss tries to fix it before we do an exchange, which sounds really weird, but like sometimes people have their own human errors. Like the battery cap isn't screwed on tight enough so the toy won't turn on. Stuff like that happens all the time and usually the toy isn't broken. So it's kind of sketchy to fix someone's <laughs> toy that they bought, but um, we're pretty lenient about exchanges because it's not a consumer's fault when they buy a faulty product. What is the most awkward thing a customer has asked? Nothing is awkward to me, but what makes me uncomfortable is when people are lying to me. Like they're, oh, I'm looking for a friend, or do you have this? Oh, okay, well, it's not for me, so I don't know. And it's like, I wish every customer knew my demeanor about feeling how I feel about this side, because I truly don't care, but I, I absolutely 
hate it when people lie to me and tell me it's for someone else because it makes it so much worse because I have to pretend like I believe them. <laughs> someone asked me to explain my weirdest experience working here and this you know, I don't have pretty much any stories for this side. Honestly, I have a ton more stories for the head shop side. There was a time that I was helping both sides. I was by myself and I had a group of girls on the head shop side and I had walked over to a couple on the sex side and had bagged stuff up for them to bring downstairs to cash out and it was a much older man and a much younger girl. <laughs> The girls start whispering to me as they go down the stairs, they're like, do you know them? No. And they're like, that girl's from our school, they live in our town, and that's a father and a daughter. I don't know if it's true, I don't know if I believe them, and so when they told me that, I'm like, well that one's for the books, I guess. <laughs> the weirdest product we have in the store right now, I believe is, and I'd show it, it's right there, but uh, I don't feel like blurring things out. Uh, we have a medicine ball. Is that what it's called? No, medicine balls are heavy. Exercise ball, there we go. <laughs> there's an exercise ball with a dildo attached to it and there's candles on the side of the ball. <laughs> what is the most expensive product in this store? The most expensive product that we have is a two-part toy. It's a guy's toy and a girl's toy, so a vibrator and a stroker. If you don't know what a stroker is, it's the professional name for a... Pocket pussy. <laughs> Um, but it's a two-in-one and I guess they react to each other so when one person uses one toy it reacts with the other toy for like long-distance relationships and the cost of that is let me go look $359.95 <laughs> well I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any other questions I mean feel free to come in the store and ask yourself <laughs> or comment this and I might be able to answer them as well if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you want to see more stuff about the store thumbs up if you just want to see more videos in general man thumbs up and hit that freaking subscribe button that's very important to me hopefully my editing can make this energy okay <laughs> peace